Hey there, scientists. Here's a quick walkthrough of this week's lesson. Think like a scientist, use models. As you can see, I'm in present mode. And your goal this week is that you can say, I can use a model to describe that energy in animals' food was once energy from the sun. This is a great video here that talks about habitat, habitats, food chains, and then gets into food webs at the end. We're gonna jump here to slide three. Animal food chains indicate how energy is transferred from one organism to another. So ask yourself, what are other examples in science that I can think of that involve the transfer of energy? You may have thought to yourself that you recall examples of energy transfer in physical science, such as the transfer of thermal energy or electri electricity running through a circuit. This video right here gives you all of the information that you need in order to make your model this week and all the background information you need to help you understand how a food chain model should be built. Models are useful for understanding and explaining science concepts, but sometimes they simplify what happens in the real world. Be prepared to compare your models of food chains to how animal and plant interactions happen in the real world. Be prepared to share your research and observations. All right, jumping to slide four. Now, slide four here, this is a example of the activity that you're going to do. This is a sample. You can see the overlay right here. And when you're in present mode, if you click the mouse, what will happen is it will fill in for you. It is animated. So we're talking about a food chain that would be in an African grassland, just like we talked about in our video lesson. So we're going to have the sun. Our producer is going to be the grass. Our consumer is going to be the giraffes. And then our secondary consumer is the hyena that eats the giraffes. And the arrows come in to show the direction of the energy transfers. So from the sun to the plants or the producer to the giraffe, which is the consumer, and then to the hyena, which is going to eat the giraffe. Now, our next slide is going to be a blank version of, the, of our sample. So what your responsibility is, is you need to choose a habitat on earth that you are familiar with. The research, the producers, and the consumers from that habitat and fill in the food chain below. So here you need to change this so you can name your habitat, insert an image of your habitat or your ecosystem, after you have some information and some research done, think about the organisms you have identified. Identify one or two pathways that the energy takes through the environment. So when we did our lesson, we talked about that this, we could have went sun producer elephant or sun producer giraffe. So the energy could go to a giraffe. I could have a small picture of a giraffe here or my um, elephant as well, because there's more than one way that that energy can be transferred. And then you're going to need to insert images right here that show um, out of your habitat, out of your ecosystem, what is a producer, what would be a consumer, and what would be another consumer. And then you'll need to show the flow of energy. Uh, slide six, um, these are two games that you might want to play to help you understand more about food chains. And then we start talking more about food webs and then why biodiversity is so important in an ecosystem, in a habitat. Now I'm going to exit out of my present mode just so I can go back here and I can see more of my slide. So again, on the side of the page here, there's arrows already for you. You can determine which arrows you need to show the flow, the movement of energy. 
And as we have done in the past, you will be using the insert function and you'll be inserting images most likely from the web of the habitat and the animals and the producers and the consumers that you have researched and identified would fit into that ecosystem. So you'll use insert, um, search the web. For those of you who are looking to go a step further and you want to animate your slides similar to the way that I did it, um, when you have an image, if you click on it, you'll notice that you have other tools that pop up, including animate. And I can animate it and I can choose what happens to all of those animations. So just like we noticed when I clicked on the slide in present mode, um, first came in the sun and then I have it that I clicked the slide one time and then all of the subsequent images and actions happen. So that is the, when after you have selected an image, that is the animate button. But again, those only work if you are in present mode. So the tools that you are going to be using in order to fill this, in order to finish your activity is, you're gonna to need to do some research and that is most likely going to be on the school resources page probably Pebble Go or Pebble Go Next. And also you'll need to use the insert tool, insert, search from web, and then specifically know what things you are searching for. Just like I had to do some research to know that I needed a hyena in order to have it eat the giraffe. Be careful in your research, make sure that you are using a valid source and you are confident in the information that it is giving you for you to build your food chain because once you build it, you now become that valid source. So where you got your information from, everyone is trusting you to have done it correctly. Work hard, be responsible. Everyone is excited to see the food chains that you build from your own interests of your own ecosystems. Be awesome.